DNA from a genealogy website helped crack the East Area Rapist case. And tonight, we're learning it's all tied to a woman in Idaho. That woman lives in the small city of Rexburg and says she's the one who helped investigators track down her distant cousin and now suspected serial killer Joseph D'Angelo. New tonight, CBS 13, Sharon Grugier joins us live from the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department with more on this. Sharon? Yeah, Tony and Christina, as Joseph D'Angelo awaits his next court date, a big question is where did the DNA come from that led investigators to their suspect? Well, tonight we're learning it allegedly stems from a woman in Idaho, an avid genealogist who tells a local paper that her father was first suspected by the FBI to be a killer. She's just stunned. We're all stunned. Lisa Daly Smith is a reporter with the Upper Valley Standard Journal in Rexburg, Idaho. She interviewed the woman whose DNA test helped investigators track down the suspected Golden State killer. Amazed, just absolutely stunned that this would happen to her. Smith says the woman who wishes to stay anonymous is an avid genealogist fascinated by her family's history. And like millions of others who have submitted their DNA for testing, she sent in her father's DNA. The FBI got a hold of that data from a genealogy webpage and found out her father's 12 genetic markers matched the suspect they were looking for. For her, five months of Oh my gosh, is my dad a murderer? The woman tells the journal it's way up in the tree. It was because of that test and that rare genetic marker that the FBI initially thought my dad was the killer. Joseph D'Angelo's genetic markers match the woman's elderly fathers. In fact, they happen to share ancestors from hundreds of years ago. But after extensive DNA tests, it was proven that the woman's father was not the murderer. She says it's true. The FBI thought my dad was their guy. They took his DNA and found he wasn't their guy. They contacted me and asked me to research my tree to give them names of possible other suspects. And she did. And that eventually led authorities to her father's distant cousin, Joseph D'Angelo, living in Citrus Heights. We're talking great, 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 great way up her family tree. A curious mind from the small city of Rexburg, Idaho, now a huge part in a search 40 years in the making. And this woman tells me that her family is relieved and all of this was apparently meant to be, that her father, who is in hospice care, is still alive and that his DNA was able to help investigators lead them to their man right here in Citrus Heights. It is absolutely fascinating. Sharon Roger in downtown Sacramento for